Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another model review. Today, unboxing, building, reviewing, and finishing the S model 172nd Vickers Lyric Mark 4B British tank. Chinese manufacturer, box containing four runners that makes two tanks across 20 parts each. Injection molded in a sand and green polystyrene. Can be partially snap fit, contains photo etch and water slide decals. The instructions contain clear CAD isometric view instructions with numbers and minimal English and Chinese. With a collection of basic tools, hobby knife, nippers, plastic cement, putty, files, sandpaper, we will build this model with very basic beginner friendly techniques. Double cutting to remove the part from the runner and shortening sanding the nubs. Widening snap fit holes and plastic cementing components together. Small parts picked up with a blade and flash marks being rubbed with a circular file. This model is incredibly easy to go together, absolutely perfect for beginners and is designed for speeds to make many of them if you're forming a wargaming army. The detail is incredibly crisp with a mixture of raised and panel relief and features. Issues like injector pin marks, flash and visible seams are not an issue. I really like how the tank tracks are all in one piece. S model is generally celebrated as a very high quality, a very popular brand. I would describe it as crisp with the right historical touches, mostly focusing on Asian Pacific theater vehicles with an alternative color and decals for European counterparts. Lots of cool interwar markings. You can engage with it with as little or as much detail and a few extra parts for some variants. One of my favorite brands and just lazily assembled it over an afternoon within an hour. Assembled it matches the reference, broke it down into four parts where I didn't glue it and mounted on pegs for airbrushing. Using my no name aluminium gravity feed 0.3 airbrush and mini plastic air compressor, I opted for gradient shading and pulled out this Mr. Hobby Sand Africa front module set from Mr. Hobby. It's lacquer paint more than 10 years old, a little dried out, mixed with automotive grade thinner in a medical shot glass to the perfect viscosity that transparently sticks to the side of the wall and test sprays fine. The model had no visual issues with fine detail, so I'll be skipping the priming stage and going straight to a base coat. Luckily, no errors were spotted. Stepping from the darkest color to one of the mid ones that matches the reference material. This was shade dusted on at elevated levels on the top surface parts of the tank. Finishing off with the lightest color, over thinned and lightly shading only the very top of the vehicle. Three tone shading which is incredibly rich in definition. More like natural light and shadow cascading across the vehicle and less mono shade plastic toy. Also more lived in and can build up with weathering if you do choose. The tank tracks is a bit fiddly, first with the tyre rubber, I gently picked up those details with a fine brush and tyre black paint, then filling the tracks with a dirty, burnt, rusted iron colour. The back of the box and instructions have a colour guide and followed that for the exhaust machine guns and other details. Back to the weathering note, to enhance the definition more, I selected two weathering colours or filter washers. The Shading was a bit too harsh and animated looking, so I gave it a very thick filter of a medium sand to wash it all together smoothly. Allowed to dry, top coat, and more of a heavily thinned wash of the darker brown to cascade into panels and details to make everything pop and the panels separate. Corners and highlights were touched up and edged with a weathering pencil, or well, actually a makeup pencil. Everything drived over a 24, 48 hour period and gave it a couple of thin coats of matte clear to dull everything down. 
The turntable is as old as the channel and sadly no longer works. Also chose not to use any of the water slide decals or select a uh, unit or regiment for this tank to belong as most reference photos and videos I saw did not contain any markings. Could have added a touch or a lick of pigment weathering for a little bit of extra grime but went for a middle service vehicle. Had a ton of fun with it and very happy how it has come out. S model does make it very easy to get as best results as possible even though some of the finer details may not be up to snuff. Several years ago a ton of these were released all at once and everything has gone quiet from them with very little models but they can still be found in some unusual parts of the internet and more smaller obscure hobby shops. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys later. See ya.